The LMM bio investigation, which flew aboard STS-133 and then STS-134, was successful in that it demonstrated that LMM has the capability and potential for performing biological investigations aboard the International Space Station. However, one of the lessons we learned from the LMM bio investigation is that we needed a better way to provide data to the principal investigators so that they could view it and access it easily. This LMM tool helps scientists because um, before scientists had to sift through the data, there were a lot of directories that they had to go through manually and it took a lot of time and a lot of patience in order to look through it all. And even if they had the patience and the time, they might have not understood what they were looking at because it was raw data. So what Lemming does is it basically sifts through all the data for them so that they don't have to do it and then it displays it discreetly on the screen. So when you want to download Lemming onto your computer, what you have to do is you have to download an entire file. And what's in this file is a lot of data and files that are important to Lemming in order to work. And basically how you interact with Lemming is that you open up this file and all you have to do is click the executable. You do not have to worry about any of the other files that are in the folder. What happens is that there are certain categories of data that are associated with each image. And these categories include the name of the file and the data was taken along with the time and other impertinent data such as uh, the filters that were used, um, the XYZ position of the picture, the type of lighting which includes epi, trans, or LED, and other such relevant data. These were all things that were expressed to me by the various scientists as information that they need to know in order to obtain useful information from any given image. What you first do is open up Lemming and your first objective is to choose the directory. And when you choose a directory, you have to make sure that your raw data is downloaded to your local computer and not on a flash drive or a CD. And tell Lemming where you want uh, where the data is, where the raw data is that is on your computer that you would like to see. And then afterwards what happens is that there are progress dialogues that tells you that Lemming is working to uh, get you the data onto your screen by decompressing raw images, decompressing raw files, and then putting them all together so that you can see it on the screen when it's all done. On the left side, you will see the tree view where it would contain all your samples, test runs, and images. And then in the middle of Lemming, you have the table where all your metadata is, which contains your name and the uh, time and date and all the impertinent data that's relevant to the image. And then on the very right of Lemming, you have the image itself where you can actually see it without having to open anything, without having to touch anything. And the only interactions that the user has to do is interact with the tree view that's on the left, click a sample or a test run or an image just to see it on the right. The data tool will merge the timestamp data and the sequential numbering with the metadata from the microscope and provide a visual interface that's much more intuitive where the researcher, uh, whether it's the PI or the open source researcher, can quickly scroll through or, or go through a large amount of data and get to the images of interest very quickly.